Gemini, this December is particularly important for your relationships, at least as far as the astrology is concerned. I did pull a couple of animal cards. I have the Nightingale and the Crow coming out first. We'll get to the Tarot in just a moment. But I really felt that this was significant. And what really is striking about this image to me is that these two birds are facing each other and there is almost this sense of a conversation going on. And this actually makes perfect sense. Astrologically speaking, there is a lot of emphasis in your relationships. We actually have your ruling planet Mercury going retrograde in the sign of Capricorn on the 13th, but it's actually going backwards into the sign of Sagittarius. And so it feels like there could be some unresolved issues that are coming to the surface or maybe working out financial or relationship issues. There could just be a lot of communication even about the way that you communicate with somebody else. I really see that with these two. Um, when I look at the Nightingale in specific, it feels like speaking from the heart. And maybe there's even some sweet messages that are in the mix as well. I do see the crow as also being very much a truth teller. You know, they have this distinctive ka, this distinctive voice. And many cultures actually look at the crow as a messenger from the spirit world or as a messenger from those who have crossed over or even a messenger of death. Maybe there are some significant things that are coming to an end, or there are just some significant changes that are coming your way. But again, I really feel like ultimately the message here is about communication. And as we get further into this month, again, it feels like you are resolving a lot of these issues, and especially towards January, I think you will find resolution. Just don't be surprised if it takes a couple of tries, maybe a couple of conversations before everyone is on the same page. If you're excited for this month's reading, then definitely be sure to hit like, subscribe, and the bell notification so you can always stay up to date with what's in the cards for you. I want to wish you all a very happy and blessed holiday season. I know that this time of year can be challenging for some people, so I'm really sending lots of warm wishes to you and your loved ones and anyone you know who needs it. I'm actually running a sale on my website, so you can get 20% off all of my services using the code GOODTIDINGS. This is good through the end of December, and I really think that this is just a great time to get a reading or Reiki session done. That way you can start off the new year on the right foot. By popular request, I actually do have gift cards available in my store as well, so it's never been easier to gift a reading or Reiki session to a loved one. I know lots of people have asked me about that in the past, so I'm really excited to unveil those as well. And I just want to thank all of you who have supported me and this channel. And I can't believe that we've made it through another year. It really is just such a gift to be able to do this work for all of you. And from the bottom of my heart, I am so, so grateful for you and wish you a beautiful holiday season. I just noticed something really funny. We actually have the King of Swords at the bottom of the deck, which is another bird. So there's a lot of bird energy, a lot of bird imagery, I should say, because you had the Nightingale, you had the Crow, and it feels like there could be bird messengers, or you're connecting a lot with birds, which sometimes people associate with angels or spirits. I, I really do feel like the avian kingdom is very much one of receiving messages. So again, there's something about you listening and receiving, and that's something that's going to be very important, both in your relationships, but also spiritually as well. Anyways, I'm going to shuffle the deck for you, Gemini. Um, and as I do that, I'm just going to give my friendly reminder that these are general messages, meaning not all of the messages that come forward are going to be meant for you specifically. It's up to your own intuition and discernment to figure out what applies to your own life and what should be left behind for somebody else. Some of these messages may also come in the reverse, so another per person's energy might be your own energy or vice versa. And if this doesn't resonate, nothing went wrong. It just wasn't meant for you at this time but you're more than welcome to check out the videos for your moon or maybe rising sign. Uh, there could be some messages in there for you as well that are more of guidance to you. So what are the messages for Gemini? Show us clearly, please. What messages do we have for Gemini? We have the Ace of Wands coming in first. Uh, I feel like a lot of you have been finding the spark in your life again. That's something that you've been working on um, maybe there is a new exciting person or a new exciting project. It feels like your energy started to lift at some point in the month of November or even October is what I'm hearing. Um, it feels like something is making you feel alive, like you're almost feeling giddy. 
Maybe some of you are reconnecting with art or creativity as well with the nightingale. Maybe some of you are musicians or writers or poets. I feel like there's something about speaking or spoken word. Um, there's something about language that is really coming in quite strongly. Um, some of you are actually learning another language is something that I'm hearing as well, which is quite interesting. Um, there's just something, there's a lot of focus on expression. Um, what do we have for Gemini? We have the Ten of Swords and Judgment. Yeah, a lot of you have been making really big decisions and closing out cycles. And you're really prioritizing your happiness, you're prioritizing your joy. Um, I feel like you're, you're putting an end to things that you've needed to put an end to. You know, because again, this is still kind of referring to the past, what's become clear, and also the advice for you this month as well. Some of you are still in the process of clearing out old karmic cycles, um, which again, kind of makes sense because we do have Mercury, your ruling planet, in the sign of Capricorn, which for you is actually a very karmic place because Capricorn energy represents your astrological eighth house. And so you may be tying up some loose ends. You may be wrapping things up especially around the 13th when Mercury is going retrograde. Um, so I, I think there is like a tying up of loose ends. Maybe some of you are actually having com <clears throat> conversations or closure. Excuse me. Interesting how I always talk about throat stuff and... <clears throat> My voice always gets affected, so sorry about that. Let me, oh, wow. Major throat stuff coming up. Some of you really need to express something. Um, <clears throat> am I back? Are we back? Okay, here we go. Yeah, I feel like with the Ten of Swords and Judgment, there's almost a sense of closure. You're fin finally having the conversation that is helping you put something to an end or put something behind you. Or if this isn't a literal conversation, maybe some of you are writing something down or just coming to some conclusion yourself. Because it feels really clear to me what isn't working in your life. And honestly, Gemini, I get the sense you already are excited about something. You know, the Ace of Wands is here. Um, maybe some of you... <clears throat> Whoa, okay. There is something with block communication. I'm really, really feeling that. Um, <clears throat> let me just pick up a crystal here. Isn't that amazing how my voice just got better immediately after doing that? Um, it feels like... Maybe someone was lying or someone's lie from the past is coming back to the present. Especially if this was a person that you had maybe a physical connection with, looking at the Ace of Wands. I feel like some of you had someone come back from the past and honestly, it feels like you kind of shut that down pretty quickly. That could be advice for some of you as well. So just kind of take that with a grain of salt. But some of you might be ending something. Yeah, justice. I feel like justice is being served. There is a cause and effect here. Someone is answering to their past behavior or there is a consequence for past actions. This is very central to your reading here. And it feels like there's just a lot of review. There's a lot of conversation that's coming up. And honestly, with Mercury going retrograde into Sagittarius, I believe that happens around the 23rd. It really is like towards the holidays, towards the end of this year, where you could be hearing back from people from the past. Um, specifically, that could actually be romantic partners or just people that you were once very close with. Um, I, I could kind of see that someone maybe like coming back, but it feels like things are being set right. Um, to be honest, I'm not really getting a reconciliation here. It's, again, very much this energy of, like, putting what you need to put to rest in order to move forward. At least for the majority of you. Hmm, interesting. 
Three of Swords with the Three of Cups. To be honest, I don't normally look at the Three of Cups this way, but with the Three of Swords, this very well could have been someone who may have had an affair with you or betrayed you in some way. I even see that with the Ten of Cups here in the mix. Um, honestly, maybe there was like a spouse involved. Like maybe it was your spouse or someone was with someone who was married or something like that. Or there was like someone who's getting out of a relationship. There's just, there's honestly just messiness here. There was some messiness. Um, and you might not have even known about that. That might be what's getting revealed with judgment. Um, because I feel like for those of you who are single, you really want a happy relationship. You want the relationship, right? And with the Ace of Wands, it feels like maybe there's been just a non-committal energy in the past that you are putting an end to. Wow, Seven of Swords here in the mix. I feel like someone betrayed you. Someone did you dirty, Gemini. Um, this doesn't have to be a romantic relationship, but it kind of feels that way for a lot of you. Um, woof. Mm. I'm actually getting the message that some of you, you may have been inadvertently in a third party situation and you actually told the other person or you're thinking of telling the other person what happened. This could apply to different situations as well. Maybe something happened and you are telling someone else who's associated or connected to that person who wronged you and kind of giving them the heads up. Um, I feel like that's part of this justice card. I feel like that's part of setting things right, to be completely honest. Um, and some of you almost feel like you're telling on someone, but honestly, it feels like you're supposed to do that. For those of you who feel so called, I feel like you're supposed to call someone out on their game. Yeah, you're feeling really stuck, really trapped about this with the Eight of Swords. Someone has, like, threatened you, I think, or, like, made you feel like you can't speak up because I was really getting a lot with my throat chakra there. Um, or maybe you were just holding yourself back. That, that could be the case with the Eight of Swords. But it's like you have more power in the situation than you may realize. And I think it's important that you speak up. What is coming for Gemini? What is the future for Gemini? We have the Empress. That's actually really good. I feel like there are some healthy relationships coming in because the relationship with the Empress is primarily the relationship with self. It's knowing your worth. It's knowing that you're lovable. And honestly, when I see the Empress, it's like, again, this readiness, this willingness to love. It's very healthy. And it, it's not in just this like, oh, I need someone in order to be happy. It's like, I want to share my happiness with others. That's really how I see this energy. And I think maybe towards the middle or end of this month, there is something beautiful coming in in regards to relationships, but it feels like there's some weird situation that you're still resolving, Gemini. Um, and it's really important that you are acting with integrity for yourself. And I think with Venus actually entering into Sagittarius at the end of this month, we have Venus entering in um, on the 30th, so right before the new year, it really feels like this could be bringing new relationships. For some of you, it could be deepening relationships as well. 
But I feel like I'm primarily picking up on like a, a single energy or like a looking energy, a dating energy. I feel like you're ready for something more and you're kind of tying up some loose ends here. Tell me more about this Empress. We have Empress with the Strength card. You know what? Yeah, I, I feel like you are ready and willing to be vulnerable because that's really what strength is about. It's about that willingness to be seen as you are, to be authentic. And to really be in your own power. Confident people are, aren't afraid of getting vulnerable. And I feel like that's really, really important for you and your relationships. There may be a relationship involving a Leo, could also be Taurus or um, Libra here as well. Primarily Leo energy coming through. Yeah, I, I feel like... There are some lessons that you are finishing up. There was some karma. There was honestly some, some really crappy situation that you were in, Gemini. And I'm sorry if that's resonating. But uh, maybe you just had, like, a really unfortunate run in luck. Um, but I feel like there's a turning point. There's something that is shifting. There's something that's being put to an end. There is a cycle that is ending. And it feels like you are addressing something or finding closure. And you might just be talking to new people. With the Knight of Swords here, this is your energy. Putting yourself out there. It, looking for love shouldn't feel like a competition. It shouldn't feel like you're trying to earn someone's love, right? It's about finding someone who's compatible with you because you already know you're worthy. And I feel like that's that's a huge shift that's happening. And maybe this is just something that you're healing in yourself. Maybe this isn't even about another person. Although I feel like, again, you've had some pretty hard relationships in the past. Um, but it does feel like you're kind of going through a glow up. You're realizing that you deserve better. And it feels like you're opening yourself up again. It's very heart healing, which I like to see. Um, I want to look more into the blessings for you, but I'm going to actually see, are there any messages financially for Gemini? Because we do have a full moon in Cancer at the end of this month on the 26th. That could be signifying some sort of change or peak in your finances. Um, we have the Knight of Cups coming in. That's actually a really beautiful energy because it feels like there could be some flow in regards to your finances, maybe investing in the things that nourish your creativity or your heart. Yeah, we have the Seven of Coins, Seven of Pentacles. I feel like some of you are really figuring out how to invest in yourself and in the things that you love. That feels really important for me. Um... It feels like there could be some money coming in or there there is some abundance coming in, but it's like, okay, what do I do with this next? You're not just thinking about things in like an immediate way. You're thinking about things in long term. Like what are the things I actually want to do with my life? What are the experiences I want to have? And how can I make that happen? How can I flow into that? And it feels very natural. Like this doesn't necessarily feel very logical or very forced. There's just something in your heart that's like, you know, I really want to have these experiences and maybe you're going to be manifesting that or working towards something. I feel like you'll find flow if you, you figure out what it is that you want and almost commit to just making it happen. So that's interesting. Um, maybe even writing in the comments down below what it is that you want to experience. That could be a way of claiming that and, and working towards that. 
Anything else regarding finances? Okay, we have a few things here. Uh, we have the Queen of Cups. Again, very spiritual, very intuitive here. Maybe some of you are even like, it's almost like you're investing in the people that you love or the things that you love um, or people that you care about. You might be getting gifts for people. It is the holidays. Um, and that's something that you're prioritizing as well. There is also the Ace of Cups here. So again, like someone could be giving you something. Uh, it could be a water sign. We have Cancer, Pisces energy pretty strongly in here. Um, could also be uh, Scorpio as well. I feel like there's an abundance of love, actually. And that's the thing that you need to recognize. Even if there are relationships in your life that haven't gone your way, I really think it's important to see the different ways that love does come into your life. And also investing in things that you love. Any other blessings for Gemini? Any blessings for Gemini? We have the Eight of Coins. So yeah, you're finding your flow state. You're finding natural abundance by doing the things that you love. There we go. Um... By investing in, in doing the things that you love, even if these things don't make you money, what I really feel for you, Gemini, is that it improves your mood, it increases your energy, it increases your vibration, and this is the thing that is going to help you become more abundant. Um, because when I really see the Eight of Coins, yes, it is working on something, it is working towards something, but it's a very involved process. It's like being in a flow state. You lose track of time just doing the thing that you love. So really give yourself permission to make things that mean something to you because even if these things don't make you money in and of themselves, the universe is going to support you. The universe is going to bend more to you by being in this energy of flow. And that is where you're going to find abundance. Um, what other blessings do we have? We have the High Priestess, trusting in your intuition. And I know sometimes when Mercury goes retrograde, it can be sort of a crazy time. It can feel like things are very confusing. But I also feel in a strange way, Mercury going retrograde is a very intuitive time. It's a very right brain time. It's a time where we really see things in terms of symbols as opposed to thinking them in words or in language. And so really trusting in your intuition, really trusting in your process, trusting in the whole body experience of being in your intuitive flow is very beneficial for you. And it feels like you already know what good things are coming. There's something that you have felt coming for some time with the uh, Eight of Coins and also the Seven of Coins. There's a blessing and a manifestation that's been a work in progress. And it feels like that is finally coming into your life. Um, we do have Jupiter moving forward in your astrological 12th house in the sign of Taurus. And again, this is really increasing your intuition quite a bit, especially as we move forward into the year. And honestly, I think that actually puts a really nice context for everything that's going on. Because Jupiter moving forward in Taurus, it's actually helping you let go of self-sabotaging beliefs or toxic situations. There's a lot of release there, especially if you have like maybe relationship addictions or love addictions. That's something that is healing for you. And that's also happening the same day that Venus goes into the sign of Sagittarius. So again, really beautiful energies headed your way. And it feels like all of this is kind of clearing out the toxicity so you can go into 2024 in a really beautiful and refreshed energy. So I don't want people to be nervous. I don't want people to feel down or heavy if this reading is resonating for you because there really are good things coming and you kind of already know that. It's just there have been a lot of energetic anchors in your life that primarily feel like they are tied to relationships. And those relationships, those anchors have been holding your energy down so you haven't been a match to what it is that you want. But it feels like there's something about a manifestation coming through. And I feel like, again, you already have a sense. You know what this is. You could tell me in the comments what it is that you're manifesting because I think it's going to be coming either at the end of this year or beginning of next year. What are the blessings that we have for 
Um, Gemini, we have the Tower with the Nine of Swords. Now, this is coming in as a blessing. I want this to be clear. And with the Tower coming up as a blessing, for me, it's that things that aren't truly aligned for you are falling away. And I know that that might feel like a backhanded blessing, but the truth is, like, when you have things in your life that aren't aligned for you, it just makes you anxious. It just makes you depressed. You're waiting for the other shoe to drop. You're waiting for things to fall apart. And it's like, that's not a way to live. I, I really feel like the energy you are moving into is one of ease, and you're getting out of this really hard energy. Your mental health is actually improving quite a bit, is what I'm hearing with these cards. And especially if you've been going through a really hard time, maybe a breakup or a loss of a job, your mental health is improving as you are finding more stability, and, you know, the thing that you've been manifesting comes into your life. So, again, I know the tower came up, but it came up in the position of blessing. So I don't think that's something that you should be worried about. If anything, it feels like there is something that is being cleared and you are now moving forward. You are coming out of a very stressful energy with that Nine of Swords. Um, and I feel like some of you are also finally just getting sleep. You're getting rest. Maybe you need to take some time to hibernate and that would be a blessing for you too. Um, are there any other messages for Gemini? Any other messages? Um, I think I'm going to pull an Oracle card. What is the closing message for Gemini? Big picture thinking, Pleiades energy, visionary and inspired ideas. I really do feel like there's something about you reconnecting to your creativity. I talked about that at the beginning. I really got that with the Nightingale, and I feel like that's something that's helping you heal. Maybe that's the thing that you love to do. Maybe that's the thing that is making you this visionary, that's making you this dreamer. But this isn't passive. You know, big picture thinking, yes, you're, you're making plans. You're thinking about your future with the Seven of Coins, right? You're thinking about the things you love with the Knight of Cups. Um, I feel like you're putting your love into something that you are doing. And honestly, Gemini, it feels like it's connected to writing or music. It feels like it's connected to words specifically. Maybe it's another creative form for some of you, but I think that's actually a really great way to invest your energy. Um, I'm actually just going to read this straight from the booklet. Um, big picture thinking. Where is it? There it is. Okay. The Pleiadians are our cosmic cousins. They're here to remind us that it's never too late to learn new things and change the future. You're being called to be a visionary for the planet, to take a breath, shake off what you've been taught about the world, and hold a new vision for humanity. You're likely a natural big picture thinker, here to generate ideas for the future, here to birth a new age and dream of a new world into being. The future will be woven by dream makers like you, by those with enough courage to question the way things have been and envision new possibilities for the planet. The world needs more artists, dreamers, inventors, and visionary thinkers. Perhaps you've had an idea recently that you're being called to usher in. If so, this card is your confirmation that it's divinely guided. The Pleiadians support us in this important stage in Earth's development. They want us to know that the decisions we make today will affect the well-being of our planet and all species. They're calling on you to be a leader of the future. They're calling on you to hold a clear vision of what's possible, to trust what vision or to trust that vision and follow it through with daily action, to dream a new world into being, to hold your mind open and try not to worry about what others think, for it takes great courage to pave a new path, to trust a vision before it's a reality. How are you being called to step up and lead? What new ideas or creations are you being called to pursue? And I really was getting the sense, like some of you feel like what you make or create or your ideas aren't important, but they are, because even just by you living as an example of a being who lives in their passion and loving what you do, that is healing. 
That is a form of healing. And that is how you will heal others by getting in touch with the bigger picture, getting in touch with what it is that you're meant to do and actually seeing how what you value is important. Um, what you create is important. What you say is important. Your words, your thoughts, your ideas, they all matter. And I really feel that with the crow and the nightingale, it's important that you share your thoughts, you express yourself to the world. Anyways, Gemini, those are all the messages I have for you. I do hope that this was helpful. Be sure to hit like and subscribe, especially if you've made it this far into the video. Again, I have a sale on my website. All of my services are 20% off, so it's a great time to get a reading or distance Reiki session, and I will see you in the next video. Take care, Gemini. Have a happy and blessed December, and very happy holidays to you.